All right, good morning. Good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. It's Pastor Dow. You know, we're living in some very um, trying times in the hour that we're living in. Uh, the world hates truth. You hate truth. Um, and everybody is exercising an unprecedented level of bigotry. And some of you, since you don't know what bigotry is, let me go ahead and define it for you. Bigotry is someone that is intolerant of other people's opinions, perspectives, and point of views. Now, I ain't. Now, people may call me a bigot because the things that the Bible calls sin, I'm against. For instance, America is a homosexual country. You don't believe me? When you come from Canada going into the United States of America, you'll see an American flag, two of them, three of them, and you'll see two or three big old rainbow homosexual flags, thereby stating we are a homosexual country. That's what they're saying. <clears throat> then you've got those on the religious perspective and point of view who say that they love Jesus, but yet they break his commandments. They say, I love God, but you can't love him unless you obey him. And so what do you mean? Well, they don't keep the seven-day Sabbath. That starts at Friday night and ends at Saturday night. They go to church in direct opposition to what the book says on Sunday. The Bible says you don't eat pig and swine. You think humans today give a damn about what God says? No, they don't. So what do they do? We're going to eat this pig and swine in direct disobedience of what this Bible says. But you know what? We love you. Okay. Huh. What would you say if your children disobeyed you? Would you think they love you? Hmm. Well, don't think that God is stupid, humans. I'm telling you that right now. Then everything that is biblical, the people that are in the faith hate. They can't stand either. For instance, I'm still waiting on an answer from a pastor and a so-called um, theologian. He started taking me on the chin because um, he heard some videos I did about biblical polygyny. And um, all I did was tell the truth on the matter. I'm going to give you the same thing I said to him. I said, show me the law that condemns. Because God, the creator of the universe, almighty Yahweh, man, you know what? He's pretty opinionated. And um, he makes no apologies about what sin is and what sin isn't. And he clearly tells us what it is. Sin is a transgression of the law. Is that right? According to 1 John 3, 4. So, I asked this theologian. I asked this preacher. I said, all you got to do, we can end all of it. I'll say the same thing to you that I said to a, a, a very ignorant bigot in a debate in Fairfax, Virginia. I said, we can end all this debate right now with this. All you have to do and I will acquiesce, I'll, I'll, hey, the debate is over with. You won. I said, all we have to do is this. You show me in the Bible where a man, where the, where the Bible condemns a man and calls it sin. Just show me one law that a man cannot help multiple wives. The, the debate is over. You won. I'm a fool. I need to repent. There's something wrong with my mind, and I'll change it. Four hours later, after I said it, I can't tell you how many times, still couldn't get it. You know why? Because it ain't there. <laughs> it just simply ain't there. The problem is many of you are playing God. Your opinion means more to you than what the word says. And there are things in the Bible that you like, and there are things in the Bible that you dislike. For instance, if things start to go awry in your life, the first thing you do is go to Isaiah 28, 10, and said, the priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are all erring through strong drink. They all are. And and a matter of fact, even their visions are corrupt. That's what, that's what it pretty much says in a nutshell. So what happens is, is anytime the pastors, the preachers, the teachers are not doing things the way you think they ought to do, then you tell them that they earn because through strong drink. For instance, Christianity condemns wine. Ooh, we, man, they condemn it, but the Catholic Church doesn't. Sure don't. And where you come from, Christian, you come from protesting the Catholic Church. So there, and you still are following the Catholic Church. You don't believe me? The Catholic Church 
gives out Sunday, Easter, and Christmas. And they said that God gives them the right to change his laws. And what do you protest Protestants do? Church of Christ, all flavors of Baptists, Pentecostals, Apostolics, you follow the Pope. <laughs> and guess what? So, the Bible says, especially if you go to the law, that you can drink strong drink and it doesn't condemn it. But you do know what the Bible does condemn? It condemns drunkenness. It doesn't condemn drinking strong drink. Nope. I have me some scotch every now and then. Um, and also have me a beer. So do. And drink wine. And I'm one of the most anointed pastors that you would ever meet. According to the people that are in the ministry that's been healed. And according to popular opinion. Uh, what do you think, honey? Absolutely. Yep, there you have it. See? Think about this for a second. You may disagree with wine, but are you going to become a bigot against me? You going to become a bigot against uh, the Bible? Are you going to practice bigotry against what the scripture says because you disagree? And then you need to ask yourself this revelation question. Does God really truly give a damn about what you think in the first place? Did he consult you when he hung this earth on nothing? Did he consult you when he made the sun, the moon, and the stars? No, he didn't. He didn't consult me either. All he told us to do is line up and get with his program. Then Shemaim, uh, excuse me, heaven will be your home. But if you don't, I got another place for you. And it damn sure ain't purgatory either. See, that's the problem. We are closet hypocrites and bigots. We're too busy trying to play creator universe ourselves. The women think there's some type of Isis, Adonis, uh, in this age of Aquarius or whatever it is, why they claim to be filled with the Holy Spirit, but they kick against Yah's word. Again, all you people out there, man, you, you don't have no problem with homosexuals, but, but you have all kind of problems with a man having more than one wife. All you have to do, just is, the easiest way for you to shut Pastor Dial up is to just show me one place in the law and it's over with. But you can't do it. You know why? Because unlike other people, I spent three or four years studying this one subject without saying anything about it before I came out because I wanted to make sure I had this thing down packed to what the word says. So now, if your husband decides that he's going to get or he wants another wife, the one thing about it, God don't have no problem with it. God will do it, but you got a problem with it. So what do you think y'all is going to say to you? Christianity hates wine, but God says you can drink wine. Christianity says you can't drink strong drink, but the Bible says you can drink strong drink. Christianity says Sunday is the Sabbath, but the Bible says the seventh day, commonly called Saturday is what you know, the Europeans say in this country, is the Sabbath. The Bible says that you ought to celebrate and show forth his death till he comes. But Christianity says that we are showing forth his resurrection. Diametrically opposed. So which one is it? You can't have it both ways. I mean, I am making so much sense. And I am dropping so much knowledge here in this one video right here. You've got a lot to consider. All you have to do, if you want to just shut Pastor Dial up, prove me wrong. And also this. Esau ain't the white man either. That's another thing. Woo-wee! Man. And to finish this video off, Almighty Yahweh loves the stranger, and he commands that you love him too. See, you've got your opinion, which is diametrically opposed to Yah's word, but you're going to have to pick and choose. You're going to choose one day who you're going to serve. It's either going to be you and your vanity or it's going to be the most high y'all. You're going to submit and humble yourself. Which one is it? Which one is it? But as for me and my house, we're going to serve the most high y'all. That's exactly what we're going to do. And that's the truth. And that's the true straight way. All you got to do to shut Pastor Dial up is just show me one law. And that's the end of the discussion. Have a good evening.